Polaris Lance has been dominating this season hands down. I know everyone's been loving the explosions. After you get that fourth crit shot, you're able to cause a delayed solar explosion. But what if we could use a build to make it even better? Today, I was using a build from Phoenix Protocol that was used about two seasons ago with Heritage of Needs, and I wanted to implement it into the season with all the new mods. Look at all these explosions I'm triggering by just standing in my well and causing eruption. Sometimes you don't even need to put so many shots with Polaris Lance into it. You just need to get that kill and it's chaining one to another. I've used this with plenty of machine guns, the fixed odds, the avalanche, but this also works with Sunshot, causing those delayed sun explosions and also taking advantage of Sun Blast. So I'm gonna break down this build using Sunshot and using Polaris Lance and kind of show you how you can dominate EVE and game in every single GM. First, I wanna mention fragments of this build because it's very, very important. We're gonna be using Ember of Combustion. Final blows with a super causes targets to ignite. This counts as you standing in your well and you getting kills. That is why everything is exploding. Then we're gonna pair it with Eruption. Your solar ignitions have increased area of effect. So your Scorch Blasts are going to spread even farther. Pairing it with Ember of Wonder, rapidly defeating multiple targets with Solar Ignitions is going to create orbs on the ground so you get your super back even more because Phoenix Protocol will give you about half your super. But once you clear all the enemies that you killed in the well, you'll pick up all those orbs and you're ready to go again. And also, that unlimited healing ability, Ember of Empyrean, Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extend the duration of Restoration and Radiant. So using your healing, you're to proc that restoration times two on your warlock and able to just extend it by getting those solar weapon or ability final blows is going to be huge for you to stay alive and easy add clear. I use celestial fire so I can get those ranged attacks for debuffing champions using the artifact and healing grenade to always have that restoration up. I use phoenix dive simply to trigger my other abilities because I'll be using some class ability mods to go ahead and proc my bomber on my class item so that I can get my abilities back even faster and we'll get into it. Aspects, we're gonna be running Icarus Dash for movement and Touch of Flame so we get more cure. And obviously we will be running Well of Radiance. I'm gonna throw up my artifact on screen here. I suggest using most of these artifact mods. You could switch them up if you'd like, switch to Solar Operative. What's nice about this is you're gonna be running Overload Rockets. So if you're running any type of build, you'll be able to stun three champions. Rockets for Overload, Hand Cannon for Unstops and Radiant for any barrier. Now, again, if you're running the Polaris Lance build, you'll have to use your explosion from your ignition to stun that unstop. Now, again, with the Polaris Lance build, I think you should enjoy it. It is definitely more slow paced. You and your teammates can just shred and cause ignitions throughout any strike or any raid or any end game activity that you're using it for. But I feel like the gameplay was a little slow for me. And that's why I chose to make a build like this. You pretty much run whatever weapons you want. The key thing here is pop your well and get as many kills as you can inside the well to cause explosions. Now, if you run weapons like Avalanche that have Incandescent or Fixed Odds that have Incandescent or Sunshot or Polaris Lance or Zalu's Bane, anything that's spreading Scorch and stacking it up on those targets is going to help you cause even more explosions, more Scorch, and having more fun. And don't forget, I'm gonna be going over the mods here. Over your build, you're gonna be running something like Heavy Ammo Finder in your helmet because you might not be having a Simo Taff Warlock in your fire team. Definitely run Double Harmonic Siphon because you're gonna be using solar weapons for this build and making more orbs to get their well back is definitely going to be key. Since we do run solar weapons, Solar Loader is nice, especially Zalo's Bane, but I use it for all my weapons now because I do like the extra reload. Momentum Transfer, causing damage with a grenade releases your melee cooldown. This actually works with throwing a healing grenade so i like hitting my melee and my phoenix dive back as fast as i can and focusing strike grant class ability when you cause damage with a powered melee so again both mods on my gauntlets are giving me back my abilities so i can keep chaining them i feel like on your chest piece harmonic reserves is huge because you're gonna have more ammo for your solar heavy weapon this gm this week is kind of nice because you do get heavy ammo crates through each room so i always tell people spend all that ammo because you're gonna get a refill at the end on our legs we're gonna be running solar weapon surge so we get an extra 10% innovation so we reduce that grenade cooldown so that we can always proc restoration even faster 
and recuperation every time we pick up an orb we're gonna get a little bit of health back powerful attraction when we use our phoenix dive we're gonna gobble up all those orbs that we made throughout the room to get the super back even faster and bomber reduces your grenade cooldown while using your class ability as well so again it's just going over the build pretty quickly to explain the loop again it's mainly throw your healing grenade kill as many things as you can with any weapons that you desire once you get that well it's game time pop the well cause the explosions everything will die if you want my honest opinion i personally think that sunshot and avalanche or sunshot with fixed odds is a better combo polaris lance is good for final boss in this gm and it's good in certain situations but i feel like you're sitting back a lot and you're just spraying a scout rifle and waiting on those ignitions when you could simply just stun a champion and switch to a heavy machine gun or switch to a rocket and kill it within two to three shots i mean it just falls over i'm kind of not down with the whole shoot a primary until a champion or boss dies i know sometimes we have to because of ammo economy but there's just quicker ways to kill these champions as you see here in this room where you have to chain wells and you're killing so many unstops and you're trying to survive in this room it's pretty hectic we simply just stun those champs switch our heavies and burn them down what's nice is is that every kill on that well is causing an eruption and that is what's helping you clear ads even quicker so getting the kill quicker to cause the eruption instead of just spamming that scout rifle shot i'm not down talking polaris lance i think you should use it i think it's a great build but i also wanted to give you a build that can make that even better i'm gonna run some more highlights through the video here so you can kind of see how dominant it was today using both variations with different weapons hopefully this build you can throw on show your teammates and show how easy it is to clear rooms cause explosions and have some more fun thanks for watching this video guys i'll see you guys next time Three more, two more. Away from the spawn end. Last one. Yep. Shield down. I don't have wall. You do? I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. I have no ammo though. Other room? I don't have it. Get sniper plug. I have two shots left. All right, I got seven now. All right, rip it. Try to find them. Right corner. A lot of ammo. Just primary. Yeah, I'm out of everything. Directly Middle. below. Forty-seven. That's three minutes. Sheesh.